This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Yeah, Jim, you don't want to come down here. <laughs> uh, now I've got the coin down yes. here. And I'll take that and I'll say, just maybe. Crazy. I'll just toss it right in. Toss it into his mouth. Okay. It disappears into the darkness and oh. it becomes very dark back there. You guys don't see him anymore as everything goes dark around him. Wait, so you just you just threw a, the a coin. magic coin into a wall and it went into the wall like a no, wily coyote cartoon? No, no, it's like the Big face, face of Hollis. The open face. It's, it's sort of sculpted, it's sort of but carved out of the wall. bought some tank tops. It's the face of Al Hedo. So, but the mouth is a hole in the, in the yeah. wall. Yeah, yep. It's a yeah, devourer it's... of magic, right? Right, exactly. And so so the darkness that's in there is, is preternatural, right? Yeah. It's The hallway's dark, but that's crazy dark. Is it's this dark in the mouth, yeah. Is yeah. this mouth, would it be big enough for a person to crawl through? Yes. All right, well, listen, I have some tin cans, and we can tie a string between them. Well, so I would yell, like, as soon as it went black, I'd be like, V? Yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing something. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> because how would you? Metaphorically. Um... Well, I have dark vision. So I yes. get down there to meet V. Yeah, yeah. you see V standing there by the mouth in the darkness. Eyes wide. In the mouth. You can't see anything. It's yeah. a, it's your dark vision cannot penetrate the darkness it's in its mouth it's or its, its eyes v. or its nose. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I've got dark vision, mm-hmm. dwarf. I can see through this, and I can't see in that mouth. That thing is that so thing is a pit. Magical darkness. Of or something. magical darkness. Right. It could be a. A space that like nullifies magic, right? Yes, that's my guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but that doesn't. But that isn't to say that you know we, we shouldn't see what's in there. Yeah. You know, so I'm. I take off the leather armor. Yes. Right? Take it off. I get out my rope. Yeah. Tie it around my waist. I'm like, I need you. Tie it okay? around a bronze yeah. bottom. If I scream two short screams, <laughs> okay. that means pull me out. Got it. One long scream is just for me. Are you right? sure that you that's just to release that's, tension? That's, that's something that I do. Yeah. So that's what we're, this is what we're here for. This is this, this is, adventure. Yeah. This is adventure. Mm-hmm. I like you. Okay. I'll, I'll miss you. I, I, I feel like you are my favorite. I'm gonna miss you a lot. I feel like I'm there having the adventure. Yeah. I am safely, <laughs> safely like 80 feet away. Okay. You are a good guy, dude. Yeah. I'm in. I go oh in. Oh my god. All right. He crawls into the mouth. Um, really and he scared. realizes that he had magic fillings. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, that magic dentist I went to. How, now, how, how am I? Is this like two feet tall, and I'm like on hands and knees, all crouched, or is this like four feet tall, and I just have to duck a little bit? It's I'm, about two feet tall. Oh, it's like weird. super Squirting small. In there. Yeah, wider than it is tall. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm still in there. What? All right. I know. All right. So it's uh, a D and D game. Yeah. So, he crawls into the mouth, and, let's see, you are sort of crawling around in magical darkness, you mm-hmm. can't see anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, I, do I hear anything? Do I smell anything? He's trying to figure you out how you're do felt. not, <laughs> but while, while the rope is sort of hanging out of Pallister's mouth, um, something comes tumbling out. What? Not him? What? Oh, no. And it lands on the floor with a clatter, and it appears to be a uh, gold lamp. Guys, now hold we on. Have to, hold on. We found a device that turns interns into gold. <laughs> <laughs> this is very All important. All we have to do is keep coming back to this hallway. This is a seedbed so, of immeasurable wealth. <laughs> I'm still holding onto the rope mm-hmm. that he's on the other end of. Yes. Somehow the gold has dropped next to me. The yeah, lamp, the gold, gold lamp, lamp has fallen next to you. I scream for these guys because I can't let go so of that rope. Weird. Uh, all right, we we would you come get us, up. You get us our get us our light back, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I got light on it, one. and we'll come up. And so, is the rope slack? No. What the fuck? He's in there. I it's go V. Can I hear him? Uh, yes. Okay. And it, it, like it's just still space in yeah. front of me. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I haven't found anything yet. We got something on our end. A gold lamp fell out of this mouth. A rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably Fabu's lamp. We needed that anyway. 
What? What? Fabu, find his lamp. Oh, I don't read common or anything. No, <laughs> <laughs> we think you're good. Try come to out. come back out, and I'm gonna pull you out. Okay, I'll take a little bit you feel of him assist. Being tugged, you feel tugged. Can I come? Can I yeah. go back? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm not at the end yet. Uh, he hasn't been hurt yet. Are we, right. a, are we in a frog situation here? No, no, there's no frogs. No, I mean, like, one, one, we're good, two, we're stupid? No, I think, listen, if, if, if another rock like this one falls out, that's going to be great news. Another worthless rock with no value. <laughs> we're going to throw it away when we leave, but try to find another one, if at all possible. He didn't do anything to get this one. V. Exactly. He should continue to do whatever he v. did. You hear <sighs> someone. Yeah, we're, can pull me out. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's more. It's it sounds more resonant and manly. I've got very. Pull me out. Pull oh. me out quickly. Yes, I. No, uh, I pull him out. I don't want him to be harmed. Yeah, and I I, I do the full backward scamper. <laughs> except you going? a lot more dexterous. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You scamper out through the mouth. Uh, when you sort of write to yourself and you kind of uh, look around, uh, the only thing that seems to be odd or out of place is that your ma magic ring is gone. No! This draconic ring? Yeah. Oh, you didn't take the ring off. It ate your yeah, ring. I took, I took, sorry. That's, uh, no, that's awesome. As yeah. amateur Obviously, hour. as your employer, that's low rent. But well, it's coming out of his paycheck. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what if... Yeah. His what if it, paycheck. Yeah, market rate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did it need the ring to give us the lamp? I don't want to think about it like that. I want to think about it the other way. Right. You know, I No, because we gave it a magic coin and it didn't give us no, a lamp. the coin was not magical. It had it a magic, had magic effect. effect on it. Yeah. Right? I, it could have been a trade straight up. Yeah, okay. Um, and honestly, since we can read Draconic, we are, we are looking good. Yeah. So, all right. I think, yeah. Wow. We are just burning through this dungeon. Yeah, we're doing good work. Here, yeah, listen. Right. So, if, but if there's literally find his lamp, but we found it marked on the screen. Let's just go give Fabu his lamp. Yeah. Yep. I'm sure he'll be good super news. appreciative. Yeah, probably I'm sure he's not a monster. No, <laughs> we haven't seen anything like that in here. No. Can we? Uh, what does the lamp look like once we get? I get out of this hallway uh, and into the light. It is a slender golden um, lamp. It's got a bit of a neck on it. It's a classic lamp. It's a classic genie lamp. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you right now, I'm wishing for more wishes. Yeah, first. Yeah, number one wish. There's a bunch of things you can wish for, like a thousand wishes. Where are you heading? Or a pet spencer that I never think, I think out true, when he's yeah, through to Fab. Yeah, right. or flavor of Fab is the only All right. item taste. You eventually come to a set of double doors. A sh well, that's not shown on your map. Basically, if you leave the room with the statue holding the book, there's an L-shaped passageway. At the end of that L-shaped passageway, you see a pair oh, of like, gold... Did you say hell-shaped? L-shaped. Is it L? L. L. Okay. L-shaped. Mm. Uh, at the end of the L-shaped passageway is a set of wooden doors with gold filigree worked into it. The filigree is sort of designed to look like um, clouds and lightning bolts. Mm. Uh, can, I, can I do... Forbidden lore or cultural lore about the name Fabo? Uh, yeah, I can hit that too. I got the. I have both of those lores. Yeah, go ahead. It'll be really tough, but go ahead. <laughs> Same roll. Do I roll one for each lore? Nightmare zone. No, no <laughs> didn't figure. It's a, it's a uh, who, can I gain combat advantage on this lore check? <laughs> I take it it wasn't that good. <laughs> it wasn't great. I would say that it was below ten. Okay. Uh, you have no idea. Let's check the door. Uh, yeah, your regular... yeah. This this I should check. Security consultant stuff. Uh, Seventeen. All right. Uh, with that roll, uh, the door itself does not appear magical. However, you do get the sense you hear wind uh, through the door, um, coming through its seams, uh, and you can feel a gust of air. Uh, it doesn't smell like air as you would know it on any world you have ever visited. Hmm. Hmm. There's no, like, can you work your dark magic magic on this lamp? Is there any distinguishing thing that you might be uh, able yeah, to I discern can, here? Check out the lamp. Not great. <laughs> Ten. 
can go with that. It's definitely ten. magical. Definitely has a fair bit of power to it. Um, but other than that... Uh, I'm going to ask the bird then real quick. Do you know anything about this Fabu guy and what he might want with his lamp? What's up with the Fabu? What's up with the Fabu? This is lamp? <laughs> he says... <laughs> right, genie's lamp! Genie's lamp! Oh, Fabu's oh, a genie. Okay. Confirmed. Well... Let's go get some wishes, gentlemen. Yeah. Is it a double set of doors? Uh, yes. Because double doors, uh, I open those. Normally it's for the dwarf, but the double set of doors I get to throw open. And that's very as, as I As I go right. through, yes. that's very it's, it's, an, it's an entrance. Now, is this so. like a party lamp? Can more than one person use it at once? No. Well, Who's holding the lamp right now? Somebody could light the lamp. That's vital. Omen? Yeah. All right, Omen's got the lamp. And you're opening the doors dramatically. Yes. As when you do, there is a peal of thunder. Okay. Like announcing your arrival. Uh, and when you uh, look beyond, the doors appear to be freestanding on top of a cloud. Right. Whoa. Okay. Uh, and there is sort of the mist of the top of the cloud uh, kind of spilling out into the hallway behind you. Uh, but it's like, you've been, it's like you're walking out into the elemental plane of air. Uh, but you are standing on a cloud, and on top of the cloud, you see a large pavilion tent. It's about 30 feet across. Uh, um. And it's got, a, it's got a sort of a colorful banner flag at the top that's sort of blowing in the wind. Um, and you can hear singing, ladies, uh, alluring music coming from within the tent. I bet they have an open bar. So, is it, ash bar. is it true that the lamp is sort of like a prison for genies? Um, Traditionally, I, I don't I mean typically, but I, I, mean, I guess I don't actually know how they. Feel. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what a yeah, genie outside of his lamp is like. I don't that know that here either. I don't think they do. I think in, they, in this mythology, when they're, yeah, when they're confined to a lamp that, and you have control of their prison, I think then they're bound to do shit. They're for bound you. to do something. Yeah, but if this mad. is just a fucking genie hanging out with a bunch of ladies on a cloud, there's a lot we don't know. Yeah. So, what, are you thinking this lamp is empty? I'm thinking that if this lamp can be used to summon Fabo and we bring it and you know, we could either keep it and use it, or we Great. could we could return it to him as, you know, a generous gesture. Well I mean no one's tried to rub this lamp. No one's tried it. That's I true. wouldn't try it here. Because it, that'd be rude, right? Well, yeah, it's sort of like... You don't rub uh, a man's lamp in his own house. You don't, yeah, you it's don't, just, that's, not, that's not a thing that happens. Yeah, you don't go to somebody's house, then call him on the phone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm in your living room. Yeah, I'm looking at your stuff. Yeah, all right. So Let's not rub it just We yet. walk towards the tent. I want to yes. see this tent, yeah. All right, uh, the, the opening of the tent appears to be... Uh, you have to kind of circle around the tent to get to it, but you, you do, and it's kind of flapping open. And when you peer inside... You see a corpulent ma- uh, figure with sort of bluish tinged skin. Okay. A very, very large, bulky man. Uh, and he's got a top knot of black hair with all these sort of gold rings uh, 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 clasping it. He's also got earrings and a multitude of rings on his fingers. And he's there uh, being tended to by beautiful, naked women with. Uh, very, very pale skin and sort of feathery wings that sort of trail off into wind behind them. Oh, and these wow. women are only about four I feet like tall. They're like sylph-like. Um, and they are, they are um, basically just fawning over him. You can also see a number of them off in a corner singing. Uh, the... <laughs> uh, there are three Strong large ten, right? chests uh, near this guy's uh, padded bed. Uh, you can also see that there is a table with uh, fine foods, and uh, standing next to the table is an automaton that looks like a dwarf. Hmm. It is completely made out of metal parts and has a spigot coming out of its belly button. New girlfriend. And its body is sort of <laughs> keg-shaped. Oh, oh wow. Quite literally now dwarven that, ale. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Dwarven ale. Underlined Guys, he's he got says, a beer robot. And obviously, you're, the thunder announced your arrival. And when uh, That's like genie, his doorbell? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the genie says, come in, come in and stay. I am Fabu al-Vazan, 
your gracious host. You are my guests. Please do not insult me by staying outside. I'll, I'll, I, I'll step in and say, you are... <laughs> uh, thank you. Give me a protocol should, should I, should I, should yeah. I take yeah. point on this one? you should take point. <clears throat> I'm well versed in the language of moisture evaporators. <laughs> <laughs> um, he says, you, are, you are wondering why we are here. Um, no more than is, is proper. We would not want to pry into the business of our host. But you are very gracious to invite us. Thank you so much. I do am a guest. Held here at the behest of Hallister Blackcloak. Oh. And that is a shame. I performed a service for him. And in return, he... Put you in jail? He put me in surroundings in which I am most comfortable. Oh. So, so it's okay with you? I would just as soon be free, <laughs> but I am willing to wait until he returns. That's pretty nice. And you expect him to return soon? Yes. How long have you been here? Oh, a few hundred years. That's not bad for genie time. Pretty says, I was helping the wizard build his ark. But that work is all done now. He yeah. says, if you want to do me if you want to do me a favor, Mom. find my lamp <laughs> and I will reward you for its safe return. Is, is your lamp in the ark? He says, I do not know where it is. So, so he, well, he, can I ask the, the, the question? Yeah, fire away. Um, you can all ask me questions. I was under the impression that a, a lamp was like a prison for a genie. Why would why would you want that back? He says, it used to be a prison. It is now the key for me of getting out of here. Oh. I say, well, don't genies grant wishes? He says, not all genies grant wishes, but I can offer you fair trade for lamp. He says, one of my treasure jests, perhaps. One of my silky girls, perhaps. Maybe what some food and robot? wine. What about your beer robot? If you yeah. want my, if you want Tipsy the beer robot, you uh, can have him. Uh, does he walk? How are you yeah. going to carry him? He will follow you wherever you go. Guys, I want this beer robot. Not it's only that, sweet. but the ale did not run out. Yeah, he's sick. <laughs> Guys, we got our own. We have our own endless beer friend. We what? have a beer elemental. <laughs> Just winging out. Okay, uh, this, this is this is. I mean, much depends upon your answer. The reason that you become wealthy is so that you can live in a place like this. Yeah. He says this is but a little piece of the elemental plane of air. Yes, but I'm saying that why are we running around trying to get? We can just stay here. You can stay as oh. long as you like. I have the Adventure's pretty girls. Over. Adventure's over. Adventure is over. Perhaps Campaign you would like to over. be. Perhaps you would like your skin caressed by a sylph. Yes. <laughs> well, Jim, I'll come over. Just so Jim is being caressed right now. She's got such a delicate touch. It's like you're just being blown dry. Your whole body is just getting this little. Jim is ready to stay. I, I try to remember. I try to remember what we were doing here. I know that it was important. I know that. So as I'm being caressed, I'm like. Yes. Uh, so. Fab, once you get out of here... One well, of those, like, kissing you on the cheek. Yeah. yeah. Let's say we get you this lamp. Uh, what are you going to do when you get out of here? I'm going to return to my own plane. Um, all right. Is there anything you can tell us about this arc? He says, it is a magnificent construct. My finest work. Meant to protect. I did not do it alone, of course. There was... I was just one part of it. Is it an, when you say an ark, is it like an ark, a container that holds holy artifact, or is it an ark it's like a boat. a boat? It's a conveyance, okay. right? Yeah. He says, it is a symbol of Halaster's power in the world. He poured all of his wealth and power is into it. Is it like a phylactery? He says, perhaps. I don't know this It word. is not unlike that. Yeah. Let me check Love my genie dictionary. If I understand phylactery, if I all understand the phylactery correctly, yes, it is of that nature. Phylactery? Are you referring to charity work? Come on. Yeah, he might have been a mad mage, but he did. He loved puppies and kittens, and did good work with orphans. Yeah. And you, he's a phylacterist. And what I'm saying is that you have to think. You have to think about the entire wizard. You know what I mean? Sure. 
where some people incinerate it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That did happen. Uh, I say we give him the... I, I, I say... You want to, can I take point here? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, please. You are a kind and generous host, and it, it gives me great pleasure to make a gift to you. I cannot remember the last time I felt like a guest. Please uh, accept this on behalf of Acquisitions Incorporated. All right. Thank you. With, 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 the the hope, brand. The brand. with the hope that you would consider us your friends. Of course, of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Now, what is it that you wanted? Do we get a wish? I do not grant wishes. Damn. But I will offer I wish you a fair you trade. Wish. You may have the metal dwarf, you may have one of my brides, or you may have one of my treasure chests. The dwarf. I say we go door number three. No. <clears throat> no, no, we're concerned. I think our primary concern, and I think that everyone's concerned. We're all thinking it. The dwarf keg does seem unwieldy. Yeah. And what? I followed you around. <laughs> I never end with beer. At what rate of speed? I think it's only going to slow us down. Why are you trying to take my beer friend away from me? <laughs> I wouldn't, but I want to verify that there's a way for us to, you know, accentuate the portability. Factor. Can it walk? Fabu, this this beer robot walks, right? Tipsy, yes. show us. It walks. <laughs> Is it sentient? Uh, Fabu says, I do not know. <laughs> he doesn't even care. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make the robot says, he Fabu, says, why oh, would you no, give no, me no. away? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the dwarves that no. work for Halister made it. I, oh, here, here's, here's the card I play. I say, Fabo, for myself, I want nothing. But for wow. my friends, each of them, this, I, I fear that this choice will cause dissent and it will, it will damage their relationship to each other. Could each of them choose something. I, for myself, I want nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> As he puts the lamp away. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I make an outrageous charisma check? Yeah, I think sure. our time for bargaining is over. Go ahead. I just want you guys to consider that that treasure chest could be empty. We're going to have a donkey. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. So you have a donkey in it? That is... Wow. What hey, is that? Uh, it was a two, I'm pretty sure, before I thumped the table. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your new Jerry. Actually, it's, I still make a ten it's, after all my bonuses. It's good, it's good to be there. So we're getting a treasure chest. He right? says, I promise treasure you that chest. whatever they choose will be more than worth. You get us three treasure chests? Yes. Which one do we want? I will buy you one of these robots. Sure you will. I have them at Costco. <laughs> There's a chest oh, with... Silver binding, a chest with electrum binding, and a chest with gold binding. The hell is electrum? Gold and silver mixed. Oh wow. Greed greed is rarely rewarded in these situations. I would not silver go for a gold greedy, one. Though, right? Yeah, but silver, gold, silver, and gold. But he's a genie. I don't greed if he lives in these opulent surroundings, like maybe he's I don't know that he would think that that way. Am, am I can I make a cultural lore roll? Because, like, this is, I know this story. Sure. I've planar. told this story. Pl planar right? lore, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, planar lore would do it. That's what they're. Uh, 18. Ooh, ooh. I get to roll, add my charisma <coughs> to my lore checks, right? Mm -hmm. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Here, 18. Uh, I, 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 at 18, I think it's okay, going to slot us good, in, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, is there a story about the dude who ended up in the Sky Palace and had to choose between three chests? <laughs> Yeah. Tail the three chests. Yeah, and uh, typically the person who left with the most "quote unquote" wealth was the one who was uh, not intre was was looking for something other than money. Other than money. Silver. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I, oh, can, the, those I, are all I, money. I want to look right. at the dwarf. I want to look okay. at the dwarf thing. No. I, I just, I, I'm going to case it. <laughs> sure. I want to see if this thing is designed to kick things ass. Did I mention that he should 20. Oh, 20. So, you, so wow. you're over there assessing its mechanical All right. nature. Yeah. 
So this construct, which is, is, has all the dwarf proportions uh, and gets around as well as a dwarf, uh, does not seem communicative, but it does follow orders. It has a magical has multiple magical properties. One being that it does have an ever, ever full keg built into ever its full. Uh, basically built into its body. Now you can deplete it, but it will refill automatically on its own. Um, you do not believe that this thing is an ass kicking machine, uh, or right, even, that, it's, even that it has any combat. His, um, I want to investigate one of his wives. Yeah. Uh, so ten, ten or more. Crit. Wow. All right, uh, this is a... (laughs) (laughs) And that's why we're doing this as a podcast.